Hello and welcome to the Blood Red Review. I'm Joe Rimmer and this is our Liverpool reporter James Pearce, just back from London after a trip to Stamford Bridge. James, it took a last minute. Daniel Sturridge won the goal to get a draw for Liverpool, but it was one of those draws that felt like a win, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, you know, memorable scenes yeah. sort of in the uh, you know in front of us in the in the in the press box on the on the touchline. Jurgen Klopp and his staff. You could see what it meant to them on the field and of course in the away end as well because. Uh, Liverpool had put so much into that game, and if they'd if they'd come away with nothing, you know, it would have been a it would have been a really cruel setback, I think, because uh, you know I think you could make a case that, that was as well as Liverpool have played all season, um, both with and without the ball. I thought they, you know they dominated against Chelsea for long periods. The frustration was that you know until Sturridge struck, um, the chances kept on going begging. But um, yeah, it was you know, it was a, a piece of absolute individual brilliance from Sturridge, but. Um, yeah, I thought that was you know the least Liverpool deserved on the balance of play. We'll talk about storage in a minute, but first another man who um, you've written some gushing words about today, Alison Becker. Um, obviously, the two most expensive goalkeepers in the world going to head to head, and you felt like he had the better of it, didn't you? He did. Yeah, I thought um, you know that was that was certainly by far and away his best performance for the mm-hmm. club so far. I think you know in in a in a game like that, in a you know in a relatively hostile environment. Uh, you know that's that's when you learn a lot about players, and yeah, I, I thought he was he was outstanding. I think mean, the you know two massive saves, the one the one midway through the first half when William got in behind Andy Robertson, um, so quick off his mm-hmm. line to to come out, narrow the angle, make the block, and then you know arguably even better was the one in the second half when you know Liverpool were caught napping from a quickly taken free kick. Suddenly Eden Hazard tearing clear and. Of course, you know if that goes in, it's it's game over, and and Liverpool have suffered a first league defeat of the season. But um, you know, again, came out, saved with his legs, deflected it over the bar, um, and even yeah, you know, little things as well. You know, the way that you know he dealt with when Aldum, I think, sold him a bit short yeah, with a yeah. back pass, and you know, again, you know, so his decision making absolutely spot on, commanded his box really well. Um, you know, it helped him the fact that obviously Van Dijk and Gomez, I thought yeah. both of those were outstanding. Yeah, yeah. In front of him, but uh, yeah, I think you know that that probably showed you know I think on Saturday night why Allison was by far and away Klopp's top target, um, and, and why he was prepared to wait and, and and spend such a huge vast sum of money on getting him because he is an elite goalkeeper. Okay, Daniel Sturridge. Um, I think we'd all written him off, haven't we? And um, he's had quite the year in terms of coming back. This resurgence. It's it's pretty much unheard of, isn't it? Really, it is. Yeah, I, mean, I must admit that, like like many people, I mm-hmm. I thought we'd seen the last of Daniel Sturridge when he went off on loan to to West Brom. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and 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 to be honest, you know, the fact that it things were were so miserable for him down there. You know, it, injuries I mean it meant he couldn't contribute. Them getting relegated. You know, almost kind of in my mind felt well, yeah. well that's it. You know, yeah. we're not going to see him back at Liverpool because you know the uh, you, you just couldn't see a way back for him because obviously the bar has been raised at Liverpool. We know that. Roberto Firmino was the established number nine, and obviously, you know, with with, with uh, Solanke and Origi coming back, you just wondered where Sturridge fitted in, and you know, especially with him being you know a high wage mm-hmm. earner as well. But yeah, you've got to give him a huge amount of credit for the way in which he's done it. I think you know it was. I remember writing about it that the first pre-season friendly at Chester, yeah. um, when when the World Cup was still on, and you know, when we're watching him come out the tunnel and thinking. You know, he looked, looked like a different man. You know, he looked he looked a lot leaner, you know, stronger. Um, you know, he carried that on throughout pre-season. Um, you know, his quality, as Klopp has said many times, has never ever been in doubt. It's the frustration has always been that his his body has has let him down at, uh, so often in his career, and you know he's never got close to rediscovering the the heights he hit in 2013-14. But you can see he's worked incredibly hard on his. And his, you know, physique, and you know, at the, at the moment, you know, this is a, a fit and, and healthy Daniel Sturridge, and you know, I think that strike on Saturday night, you kind of, uh, you know, showcase to the world really that that he is well and truly back. Okay, and finally, any worries about Mohamed Salah? Uh, no, I think I still, I still think it's it's too early to be too worried about it. I think. You know, he, he, he was poor on Saturday night. Mm. I think there's no, you can't get away from that. I think, um, you know, I think, and I think, the, you know, fair play to Klopp for taking him yeah. off because yeah. I think that was the right call. It, 
you know, it must have been in the back of his mind thinking, well, you know, you almost make it becomes a story as such if you take Salah off. But you know, it was. I think you could see that the misses were preying on his mind. I think his decision making let him down a couple of times and. Um, you know, snatching at chances when when last season he was almost playing on instinct and mm. and finding the net so regularly. But um, no, he'll be back. I mean, I, you know, you, I wouldn't put it past him coming up with something special um, <clears throat> away to Napoli on Wednesday night. Um, you know, the great thing at the moment is that Liverpool aren't. You know, last season, you know, people said, oh, you know, they're so reliant on mm. Salah. Well, you know, that's not that's not the case anymore, is it? You know, we we saw on the weekend others stepped up and put in big performances and. Yeah, that was you know it was it was a great great game between two two really high caliber teams. I think I think we saw on Saturday night that, that Liverpool and Chelsea are both going to be proper title contenders this season. And um, you know Liverpool still haven't played anywhere near the, their peak of their powers yet. Same goes for Salah, but it it will come for him. And when it does, you know it, it, Liverpool will be an even better team for it.